Hey guys, hi. In the last two videos, I talked about reverse proxy and a sample implementation of reverse proxy using Python Flask framework. In this video, I'm going to show you all a simple implementation of a load balancer using the API gateway that we built in Python Flask. Now, firstly, before going into the load balancer, what I want to highlight here is for getting a sense of load balancer, we need to have multiple web applications running so that we can distribute our load, right? So instead of having my web application run on multiple hosts, I am running my web application on a single host local host with multiple ports. So just for example, my code or web application will be sample client.py as you can see here. It is already running on two ports. I'm going to kill my uh, web application now so that now you can see there is no um, web application running, right? So before going into uh, even uh, starting the web applications, I told about a heartbeat service, right? So here the heartbeat service is built, right? What it is, is just that we are doing a get request on a particular URL and if my response status code is greater than or equal to 200 or less than 400 somewhere caching redirect or 200 then um, it is online if not if the response code is error or something something it is offline okay or if there is an error in this get request itself like timeout error or something because these are all web applications in the same network my kept my timeout to be one second which is like very competitive but uh, because these are on same network even one second is a large one so if some error is occurring we are again updating the host to be false now where are we getting this host from that is uh, the next thing that i will tell so for sample purpose I created a host model so I created a host table on Postgres where uh, the table is something like this so you have host name description and a status okay so host name has uh, where is the web application running so 5000 with uh, along with the ports and you have description and you have the status now just when I started the video I have turned out two uh, running ports right so we need to update this so this heartbeat script what i have shown you is just for that i have created some helper functions in uh, host table creation and populate host table with sample values get working host is the query is select host name by status true get all hosts is select host name from host and we can update host with host name and status so these are the helper functions now in the heartbeat what i have done is as you have seen get all host so we'll get all the hosts that are registered irrespective of the status so for each host in this host we are trying to hit the api url so in sample client if you see the api url it is just a hello world right so if that hello world is returning then we are putting that it as online else it is offline right so this needs to ideally run in a cron service or a while true service so that it keeps on updating that particular table which is online which is offline those hosts right so now what i will do is because now you are seeing that the two servers or two applications are online uh, this has to automatically update it right so what i will be doing now is i will run this heartbeat service so you will see that everything is false set status false for even both of them which are online now we will see uh, the statuses both of them have become offline now what I will do is I will run uh, a sample sample client on 5500 okay so this is run on 5500 I will run it on 5000 as well just to test it so now I have run on twos right so let's just again index the statuses so we have true on 5000 and true on 5500 just let's check it in our database again we have two servers online okay so now going into the reverse proxy code it's the same thing here we are just getting working hosts right from the load balancer tables and working host query as you have again seen status is true that's it 
and we'll get the host name so from those host names this is the load balancer code from those host names uh, what i'm doing is i'm choosing a random index and i'm just doing a from those host names i'm selecting a random host name just before serving right so because this is a random integer this load will be balanced equally that's the assumption other than that you can uh, do multiple algorithms here as well you can use hashing um, you can use uh, round robin you can use uh, uh, load based load balancing also here so all of that is there so this is a simple uh, implementation of a load balancer so just to test this right what we have to do is we have to restart the server router right so now i am going into 8100 right and i do a asd you can see firstly it is served with 5000 next 5500 so randomly 5000 and 5500 will be coming to us because we are doing it on a reverse proxy reverse proxy is forwarding to one of those hosts which are working because we are doing get working host right so this is a simple example of how load balancing is done at reverse proxy or at api gateway level um, and one more thing is that uh, whatever data we have we are pulling it from sql right and postgres basically and this postgres is an on disk so there's a disk io that is involved for each reverse proxy call we can avoid this using redis or any other um, in-memory database stores like memcache redis or uh, the likes right so what you do is you do a initial key value pair and you do heartbeats heartbeat filling in those key value pairs and then just retrieve whatever is true right so that would make it a lot faster but again the thing is it all depends on how you were serving what is your architecture so on and so forth right yes so in the next video we will implement throttling using the same uh, api gateway and we will introduce some more um, paths and uh, we will introduce uh, some quota based uh, uh, endpoints and something like that right so it is very exciting to work on throttling in this api gateway so meet you all in the next video bye